At the Beckman Institute at the University of Illinois, doctors are focusing their work on interventions, which are changes that can be made in a lifestyle to provide overall better health and a better quality of life as we age. So we've been doing work for about the past two decades on the effects of physical activity and exercise on cognition and brain. And our main focus is looking at ways to keep people and their brains healthy as they age. We've been working with the older adults for about two decades. I like to think of them as uh, healthy, uh, old couch potatoes. So these are people that are pretty sedentary, uh, just like most Americans. So we're interested in developing ideas and interventions that we can use here in the lab and that can be then extended to people's real world lives in order to basically help them stay independent. They introduced an exercise intervention to this group, simply walking at an easy pace three times a week. And we started out by examining changes in cognition as measured by paper and pencil tests and various computer-based tests of attention, various aspects of memory, decision-making, language processing, and something called executive control, which is what it sounds like, planning, scheduling, dealing with ambiguity, multitasking, and working memory. And what we found in terms of these cognitive measures is that anywhere from six months to one year of exercise, three days a week, 45 minutes a day, simply walking, will improve a number of cognitive abilities, often across the board, by about 15 to 20 percent in about six months. Dr. Kramer is also exploring another intervention that involves physical movement as well as mental and social engagement. He has older participants involved in acting classes, or active experiencing. A current study funded by the National Institute of Aging, which examines the effects of acting training, or what Tony Noyce, my partner, and Helga Noyce, his, his wife, calls active experiencing. As Helga and Tony have found in behavioral studies, older adults tend to improve their memory and tend to improve aspects of executive control as they learn acting techniques. They're what an actor would call on book. That is, they still have the script in front of them. They're learning how to put together the gestures with the facial expressions, with the words, but the words are still there. So it's not uh, an acting training program that explicitly trains these older participants to remember more, but they do anyway. By putting them in the position where they're becoming more like an actor, we're hoping that their cognitive processes are becoming more active and more engaged. And that's going to extend to you know, how they're functioning on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're looking at these multimodal kinds of interventions that bring together the factors we know, at least separately, are important. And in our latest exercise study, we're doing walking again and toning for our control group, but we have a dance group. Left hand star. This is the FAST trial, the Fit and Active Senior trial. This really emanated out of our earlier work where we compared walking conditions or aerobic exercise with a stretching toning control and from there we wanted to build on that and see if we could replicate or extend the findings by including a treatment arm that not only was aerobic in nature but also had like a memory or learning component so we literally stumbled on dance. It's not simply learning a new dance, it's learning multiple new dances and you're not just learning new dances, you're learning new formations of steps, where your partner's going to be, so the spatial awareness that you are involved in, and simply remembering these things really is a challenge. Learning something new has immense neurological benefits, and when those activities are involved with social interaction and physical activity, the benefits can be even greater and have a longer lasting impact. And with a lot of the studies that we do, we try to follow up with participants maybe six months later or one year later and run our MRI scans again or do our cognitive tests again to see whether the type of intervention that we've been working with them on has helped them maintain this improved performance. And they report, you know, being able to remember things a little bit better but also that they're feeling better. It's everything from self-esteem to loneliness to social support to self-efficacy or competence, if, if you want to call it that. 
And those are standard measures in what we do. Many people may feel that they're simply too old and have missed the opportunity to change their lifestyle and undertake a new physical activity. We're often asked, is it too late for me because I'm uh, 60 or 70 or 80 years of age and I've been a couch potato for so many years. But the studies we do are with older people who haven't been active and are participants in the, in the older age study are between 60 and 80, and they still reap the benefits.